On this exercise, your right knee remains bent at a natural angle, your left leg is extended, and as you breathe in, you express through the heel. So push the heel through as you take the arm above your head. Be careful not to lock the knee. As you breathe out, you relax, elbows forward, holding the ball as you come down. It's not necessary to rest your foot on the floor in between each movement. It's the ideal is to just finish an inch or so above the floor each time. That gives you a slightly better workout. So off we go, nice and comfortable. Draw your right leg in to a comfortable position. Express through the heel without locking the knee. And breathe in, arms above the head. Hold the box. And breathe out lower. Breathe in. Spread the shoulders. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in through the nose, hold the box, and out through the mouth. And relax, change your leg, so bend your left knee, extend your right leg, and breathe in, lift. Express through the heel, and breathe out lower, elbows forwards. Breathe in, hold the box, and breathe out, hold the ball. Breathe in, hold the box. Breathe out, hold the ball. Final movement, in, hold the box. And finish. Side leg raises. This is an important position to be in, so from this position, then, um, you're holding the chi button and you're resting your head on your arm. This helps keep the spine straight, so make sure your head rests comfortably on your arm. Louise needs to draw that right knee forwards further until the heel is just below the buttocks. This gives you a nice firm support to um, drive off. As she breathes in, she lifts that leg, expressing through the heel, keeping the foot parallel and without locking the knee. As she breathes out, she lowers it, and again, not necessary to rest the foot on the floor. Now only lift as far as you're comfortable, and make sure you do not point the toe or take your hip backwards, because this will then stretch the wrong set of muscles and won't work the hip properly. So off we go, so nice and relaxed. Draw that knee forwards to get a good support. Heel lines up with your buttocks, so that that helps to keep this nice curvature in the spine. Uh, and stops you arching your back. Rest your head on your arms. Off we go. Breathe in. Express with your hands as you lift. Breathe out lower. Breathe in. Lift. Breathe out lower. Breathe in. Lift. Breathe out lower. Breathe in, lift, and finish. And then we roll over the other side and perform the exercise the opposite way. So extend your arms above your head, draw your left knee through, so the heel's in line with the buttocks and the nice straight leg without locking the knee. Off we go, breathe in, lift, keep that foot parallel, and breathe out lower. Breathe in, lift. Express with your hands as you lift. Breathe out, release as you lower. Breathe in, express. And release. Final movement, express. And finish. Right, from this position you start resting your elbows on a comfortable surface, holding your chi button. Your chin is relaxed downwards, but your upper body is lifted in a cobra position. 
your hips, the front of your pelvis remains on the floor throughout this exercise. As you breathe in, starting with your left leg, you lift the leg as straight as possible, pointing the toe. Now you won't lift it very high, and you push your chin forwards at the same time. As you breathe out, you lower, and on the second repetition, you express through your heel. So you push your heel forwards and your chin, and then you lower. Obviously, every time you express, you hold the box with your hands and then the ball. So nice and comfortably, get yourself in a comfortable position. Draw your chin outward slightly, left leg first. Breathe in, point the toe, lift the leg. And breathe out lower. And then your heel, lift. And lower. And your toe, lift. The leg as straight as possible, and lower. Press through the heel, lift, don't lock the knee, and lower, keep your pelvis on the floor. Change legs, right leg, lift, point the toe, push your chin forwards, hold the box, and lower. And heel, express, and lower. And toe, lift. And lower. Heel express, push the chin forwards. And finish. And relax. Right, for this exercise, uh, crocodile, you start with your head resting on the chi button. Then as you breathe in, Tuck your toes under, lift your upper body into a cobra stance, expressing with your hands. As you breathe out, continue to express with your hands as you lift your pelvis above the ground. As you breathe in, you relax, holding the ball, relax the pelvis, and breathe out, continue to relax, rest your head on the chi button. So, off we go. And breathe in, lift. Breathe out, lift your hips steadily. Breathe in, lower your hips. Breathe out, lower your body. Breathe in, express as you lift your body. Breathe out, lift your hips nice and steady. Breathe in, lower your hips. Breathe out, lower your body. Breathe in, upper body into cobra. Breathe out, lift your hips. Breathe in, lower your hips. Relaxing your hands. Breathe out, lower your body. Last set. Breathe in, lift your body. Breathe out, lift your hips. Breathe in, lower your hips. And breathe out, finish. On completion of this exercise, because you've been arching the back this way, it's always a good idea to stretch out. So Louise relaxes her toes on the floor and then draws back to sit back on her heels, leaving her arms where they are, and then extending through and just relaxing for a few moments, just to make sure the back is now nice and loose after the work we've just done. Stand still, so hold the chi button a fist distance from your lower abdomen. Keep the chi button where it is and then gently push the elbows forward slightly to open up the shoulders, shoulder blades spread. Hold the ball, tongue on the roof of your mouth, close your eyes, relax and imagine a ball of energy in your belly. Imagine this ball of energy spinning and it's pushing energy into your left hand, then into your right hand and then back to the belly in a triangular movement. Just focus on that movement for a few breaths.
then reverse the spin of the ball, and imagine energy travelling to your right hand, then your left hand, and then back to your belly. Again from riding horse stance, hold the chi baton a fist distance from your body, elbows push forwards to open your back. And the first part of the movement you express, express as you breathe into the chest. When the arms are above your head, the elbows are forwards, you breathe into the belly. Okay, so nice and relaxed. So push the elbows forwards and for six beats, breathe into the chest, breathe in. And breathe out. Release, relax. Breathe in as you take your arms above your head, elbows forwards. Breathe out, release. Breathe in, arms between your legs. Hold your breath. Breathe out, arms above your head, elbows forwards. Breathe into the belly, express. Breathe out, relax your hands. Breathe in, lower the chi button, spread your shoulders, express. And breathe out, release. I hope you've enjoyed this program. Obviously for the DVD I've limited the repetitions to four so that anyone of any fitness ability should be able to cope with that. You don't have to stay with four repetitions. Gradually build up the repetitions as your fitness increases. It's important though that you do the same number of repetitions for each exercise and that you also keep the exercises in the same order. The exercise has been put together so some work as a warm up for the next exercise or as a cool down from the exercise before so it is a whole balanced program. If you can't manage the whole program in one sitting then I suggest you do the standing exercises as one unit and then the seated exercises later. I hope you've enjoyed these exercises. One of the reasons I put them together and, and to put them on a DVD is that so many of my students have felt they've been beneficial to their health and they've just been enjoyable. I hope you get some enjoyment out of them and that you find it improves your health too. Obviously in a DVD I can't explain all the nuances and the subtleties of this exercise system so for this reason I've also written a book called Chi Bat and Yoga by me, Barry Wesley, and this is available from my website www.chibatten.co.uk or from Amazon. And this will go into more details and more subtly about the exercises and the principles involved. Welcome to the Chi Baton exercise. Uh, <laughs> On the out breath, the elbows will relax and your heels will touch the ground. And I forgot to put the metronome on. <laughs> and out. Loop and opposite directions in. Spread the shoulders. <laughs> And in, and out, 
right elbow to the ceiling. Avoid the arrows. This exercise, again, is from riding horse. Feet parallel. <laughs> Avoid the arrows. This is again... <laughs> Avoid the arrows. This Avoid the arrows is again from riding horse. Two chi buttons distance, relax the pelvis, and the chi button is behind the head in this position. Now when you turn the body during this exercise, the central core moves as one piece. Repulse the demons. Again, starting eagle, in this position, as you step forwards, just a natural pace, keep your spine straight as you slide down, as if you're sliding down a pole. Your right knee should finish in an ideal world, just behind your <laughs> left ankle. We'll draw back again, and then repeat the same action the other side, so a circling action around the foot, and back again. Nice and comfortable. Okay, so off we go, breathe in, 